so the last point is your run level okay so if you remember guys if you i if when i booted the system right when your operating system okay if i do it here also if i do reboot here okay for this operating system you can see this see there are services are stopping right so okay stop what is stop okay now starting what is starting okay so what all these these are your services when you power it on your operating system it's going to start or stop right so ultimately okay uh, different services will be there so these are your run level program so from where these run level programs are getting executed okay so depending on your default init level setting the system will execute the programs from the one of the following directories so from where this 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 services are running right sai from where okay. these services are starting or running right ankur okay so ultimately these services and these programs are running from this directory let me show you okay so the directory for this one slash etc just now i was spoken right rc dot d right so under this so this is all about the system this is already predefined and it is already set under rc dot 0 which all services is going to run you can see multiple services under rc so these many services are going to run from rc dot 0 okay so again i am going back i am going to rc rc uh, 1.d so under this which all services are going to start so you can see these many services are going to start getting my point okay okay so these are the predefined from we don't know from which uh, service is going to from which rc.0 or rc.1 means the last thing has to be executed remember this sentence the last thing has to be executed in your operating system that is your rc.d okay now yeah. few very important things few very important commands i am going to tell you again and again previously also if you want to see what is your kernel version straight away uh, sorry uh, what is your run level okay you can see with the who and hyphen r command is there or straight away run level command also you can use and you can see which run level so two commands are there to see so to see your run level okay so you can see uh, who hyphen r command is one and and uh, and run level is one command is there and if you want to see by the file so that file name is called slash init tab file is there there also you can see your default run level so three ways you can check your run level okay that the next point to see the details regarding the kernel install how we are going to see that one ankur u name u name u name hyphen r yeah why it's not taking u name see your run level right and if you want to see the architecture of correct hyphen a right okay guys and yeah. if you want to check the architecture of os this is the architecture of entire os then u name hyphen m so means your architecture is x86 64 bit right so this is that so hyphen a is nothing but sorry this hyphen a is for all information and if you especially want to see and if you want to see which release of this operating system means which red hat release so just do cat slash etc red hat red hat release right so you will be able to this is santiago 6.7 okay so we have seen how to recover your root password by using single user mode okay if i'll get time i'll show you how to repair, repair the corrupted bootloader and recovering it this is also very much important so your mbr gets corrupted and how we can recover that one that also we can do it okay guys yeah so we are done with complete this booting procedure and kernel parameters okay okay